Welcome to the Dental Breakdown Show with Christian White. Mr. White is the CEO of White & Associates Practice Consulting. Better business, better dentistry. This podcast strives to help break down the current and everyday issues within the dental industry. In each podcast, we discuss a topic on dentistry with respected industry professionals, dentists and other relevant special guests. Our goal is to help provide you valuable insights for your dental practice. We thank you for listening today. From the dental chair to the beach chair, wherever you are listening, sit back, relax and enjoy the Dental Breakdown Show. Now take it away, Christian. Let's introduce our guest to the podcast today, Teresa el Teresa, thank you for being a guest on the Dental Breakdown Show today. Thank you. Thanks, Christian. Happy to be here. Right. I'm glad that you could find some time out of your busy schedule to be with us today because we are going to have fun. So get ready. Yeah. So let's uh, move to our first question. Uh, Teresa, why don't you uh, talk to uh, tell all of our listeners a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. I'm Teresa Lahe, business consultant with U.S. Bank. And for the past 17 years, I have the experience of working with dentists for business financing as well as equipment. Whether, Christian, they're looking for their first practice or maybe they're well-established and they're looking for an additional practice or they're looking to do remodeling, I get to help dentists with not only looking at what their goals are, but also taking a look at how can we improve cash flow? How can we add revenue streams? And that's what I enjoy most. When I'm not working with clients, I enjoy spending time with my family, with my husband, and I have two kids. So my son is 12 years old, and then my daughter is 10. And we look forward to our nights when we cook together or our family game nights, which can be interesting in my household. And then also our movie nights. Wonderful. That's great. That's uh, <laughs> never a dull moment at your house, uh, Teresa, it sounds like. That is very true. <laughs> great. So, all right. Here's a, here's a question I've been waiting to ask you, right? Of all the people in the world you could work with, you decided to get involved in the crazy world of dentistry and working with dentists. You know, tell, me, tell me a little bit about that, because there's got to be a story for that. <laughs> You're right. There is a story. <laughs> Every since a young age, I've always enjoyed helping people. And I always told myself, you're going to be an RN or, or a dentist. But the reality of the matter is, I have a very, very weak stomach. So with that, I was happy to find that US Bank, we actually have a niche product. And we have a division called our practice finance group where we only work with a dentist. And so I get to work with dentists and help them be uh, successful. I just can't do the work. So that's, that's kind of why I chose business banking. So the sight of blood, it does not do uh, good things to you. It does not. No, I, I have to leave the room. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, that's um, so Teresa, tell me something, you know, tell me about the value that you bring to the private dentist, you know, the work that you do and all the things that you do to help them be successful. You know, how do you help them? Like, what, what is it that you do? Absolutely. First, I have to start with U.S. Bank. We are a leading lender for healthcare practitioners. And I spoke a little bit about our specialized dental group where we only work with dentists and we only look at dentist transactions. And that's very unique. With that, uh, US Bank is also an A lender. So it allows us to buy money cheaper and that allows us to provide competitive rates. I would say, honestly, uh, the value that I bring is it's me. I have 17 years of doing this and experience. And when we look at my team, they actually have 25 years. And I'll, I'll just share a couple of statistics. So I've done 1.5 billion in loans in the dental industry in just in the last 17 years. And I look at about 20 different dental transactions every week. So what are those dental oh. transactions look like, Christian? I'm, I'm sure you're wondering. I am. <laughs> okay, good. So the value adds that I help with are acquisition financing. So when the borrower wants to look at buying a practice, or maybe they just want to become um, a partial owner. 
or they want to buy out an existing partner. I can help with those things along with if they're looking to relocate or expand. Um, there's been a lot of remodeling. I can help with the financing for those needs along with the equipment financing that, that comes along with that and refinancing debt. So it, it doesn't have to be with U.S. Bank, but if they have a line of credit and you have business credit cards, I can take a look at consolidating that debt to really take advantage of the lower interest rate and help improve that cash flow. And oftentimes that leads to significant savings. So those are the few ways that I get to add value along with U.S. Bank. Nice. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of experience that you bring. Holy yes. Yes, oh. absolutely. Um, so tell me this. So when you're bringing on a new client, you know, a new dentist, you know, tell mm -hmm. me about your new, you know, your new patient experience, you know, Teresa El you know, new patient experience um, in bringing on a new client. I think it, that's something a, a lot of dentists you know, need. They need a lot of hand holding because they just don't know what they don't know, you know, and I think yeah. you would agree with me on that. So maybe talk a little I bit would. about that. Yeah, well, you said it a little bit. You alluded to it. And it's me. It is just that. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. My role allows me to be proactive. So mm -hmm. I work with our dentist one-on-one. -on -one, and they truly get to thrive with an expert. And that, that is the difference. So when it comes to working with a dentist, I know our different options. And we can tailor our solutions to their specific need. You also talked about handholding, and I look at it as I know that the dentist time is valuable. And with that being said, um, I can help do the work, right, Christian? So I don't pass them on to, you know, call this 800 number and they'll help you. No, I can get in my car and I can go on site and we'll roll up our sleeves together and we'll do the work together and find the best solution. Along with that, I have to share. I had a dentist reach out to me and she happened to tell me that Teresa, I'm looking for financing about 2 million and my bank will give me 500,000 against my property. And I said, you know, what, what do you, what is the, what are you really looking to do? Right. And she was looking for that 2 million and we're able to honor that because we can put a value on the practice based on the revenues. We don't just look to collateral or, you know, the typical accounts receivable. And on top of that, we offer 100% financing and many times with no down payments. In addition, it's actually more than 100% financing because we can add on top of that working capital. And that sometimes makes a huge difference. And with our practice loans, you'll usually see five years or 10 years and we can do a full 15 year fixed the entire term. That is unique and it's one of our niches. I also will have to add that we're a one-stop shop. So what I mean by that, Christian, is if you're a dentist, I'm not just going to take a look at that one transaction, but I want to know the ins and the outs. How are you accepting cash? Uh, or sorry, how are you accepting payments? It might mm -hmm. be cash. It might be credit card. Mm -hmm. How are you making purchases? And how does that impact your cash flow? Are, are you waiting 90 days before you receive payment from an insurance company? And in those cases, I want to be able to take a look at your solutions and then make recommendations and do comparisons for you to show you how I can add value. And there's many, many more value adds than just a particular one transaction. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're able to, to sit down with a new dentist and you're able to kind of, be able to uh, uh, give them peace of mind that they, you know, obviously they just, they don't have before meeting you. That's absolutely it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of getting them to calm down, take a breath. Yes. We'll get through this. <laughs> Together, we'll get through this. You're really good at what you do, mm -hmm. and I'm really good at what we do. And we mm -hmm. have to surround ourselves by those partners and rely on expertise. Mm -hmm. We're not all good at everything, because I could not do what they do, that's for sure. No, you can't. That would be a little bit too much, like you said, blood for you. <laughs> yes, it would be bad for the practice. <laughs> So when you meet a dentist for the first time and you're, whether it's, you know, he or her, or if it's a group practice, yeah. how do you get to understand their needs? I mean, is there an assessment that you guys do of their finances or is there a kind of a process that you do for that piece? I mean, maybe comment on that. 
Yeah, there absolutely is. And I think I really will have to start with telling you that much of the business that I have, it's repeat business and, mm-hmm. or maybe helping their, their friends or the families. And that's the best compliment that I can get. And it is because I help them from the beginning all the way to the end with each step along the way. And Christian, I love nothing more than actually seeing the practice, seeing how they actually work and understanding that full picture. And the only way that I can truly do that is by asking the right questions. Mm -hmm. So really, truly asking questions to deepen my understanding. And then once I have that full understanding, it's truly working with the dentist then to find out these are the best options for you and providing that guidance. Um, I will share that actually last night I had a dentist call me at seven o'clock at night. And that's the, that's the experiences. I get the dentist hours and sometimes Saturday might work best or seven o'clock. If I'm on the, the couch at seven, I'll pick it up. My daughter now, she, she oftentimes will say, oh, mom, we can help businesses, you know, meet their full potential by doing this. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. And it's because I make myself available to, you know, to the dentist, whatever is convenient for them. Nice. Um, I have another dentist that she reached out to me and, you know, it might be four hours away and that's okay. I'll get in my car and I'll, I'll turn on my music Christian and I'll sing when I'm by myself. My, my mother-in-law happens to be very honest and she's like, Teresa, keep your day job. Yes, I agree with her. I'll keep my day job. But I don't mind uh, coming out and visiting. And because I, I, I mentioned before that they, the dentist, they just trying to find time, it's, it's, it's limited. And with that being said, I will often offer, you know what, I'll reach out to your CPA to help get the financials that we need or let them know what I'm looking for. Or, oh, do you need me to reach out to your broker? I can do that and I can help them negotiate. So those are all things that a client is going to experience when they're working with me. I see you're going down the road to to a dental practice and you're singing Bon Jovi, I'm guessing. Would be a good thing, (laughs) You are absolutely right. It's usually the oldies on in my car, but honestly, any music, I like it. The Dental Breakdown Show, sponsored by White & Associates Practice Consulting. Better business, better dentistry. They are a practice management and consulting firm for dentists and other healthcare-related businesses. Their sole purpose is to implement proven strategies through online and practice visits that result in the personal and professional success of the dentist and his or her team. Hi, I'm Teresa Lahe, business consultant with US Bank. I have 17 years of working with dentists and impacting their bottom line by gaining an understanding of the business need, recommending solutions, and coming up with a treatment plan that best suits their practice needs. Producing solutions to reduce cost, reduce stress, increase cash flow, and help the dentist achieve greater personal success Give me a call today. Teresa, in the uh, business environment and working with dentists and all the work that you do with them, maybe you could talk a little bit about some of the trends that you're seeing that are affecting the uh, dental marketplace. Absolutely, Christian. I'll share with one that we've actually seen over the last 20 years. 30% of the marketplace is now owned by corporate dentistry. The trends that I'm seeing today, there's lots of growth. So the demand for cosmetic dentistry services, that's actually spiked since the pandemic. You you have people that actually care about their smile and maybe they just wanna whiten their teeth nowadays. So dentists are experiencing more revenue growth from the cosmetic dentistry. There's also a lot of relocations and remodeling to help support that growth that they're seeing, along with acquisitions and ownership changes. And those are truly due to the older dentist moving out. That's what I'm seeing. So it's kind of like, you know, I don't really want to say this, but it's out with the, you know, more mature people, I'll say that instead, and in with the younger generation as they come and move into dentistry. (laughs) That is absolutely it. Well put. 
And are you seeing that most of, so most of the younger dentists who are coming in, they're taking over these older dentists, you know, they're coming in and they're focused on making the private practice profitable. That is, that is absolutely it. And working alongside a banker to truly understand what full suite of products are available mm -hmm. to help them with their success. So with the younger dentists coming in, I'm just going to take a right turn here for a quick second. You know, in mm -hmm. terms of their needs that, you know, what do you, you know, what do they need um, to be successful, you know, from someone like yourself? It truly is uh, just understanding when you're, when you're taking over a practice, separating the business from personal. So mm -hmm. right away to set yourself up for success, you're going to want to look at things. It, it's kind of a package. And you'll take a look at opening up your business checking account, understanding how using a business credit card specifically for dentists can help kind of float their cash flow. They don't have to deplete their checking account right away. They can hold on to those funds until they receive their bill. And then also looking at payments. There's so many options that are available for dentists. And oftentimes you hear you have to use us. We're the only ones that work for dentists. And that's so not true. We actually own our own payment processing. We're one of the only banks that own that. And because we do, and it's specifically just for dentists, Christian, mm -hmm. but because we own it, there's no third party involved. So we can offer low cost processing for them to accept credit card payments and oftentimes zero. Um, you know, dentists um, are very, very, very smart. Uh, they're, they're, mm -hmm. they're great people to work with. Um, you know, you and I both enjoy working with them a lot. You know, when a dentist is seeking out someone like yourself to work with in terms of because they need help with the transaction, whether it's a refinance or they're, you know, like you said, a remodel or they're bringing mm -hmm. on, you know, a partner or something, you know, something like that, you know, well, what are some of the mistakes that dentists have made that you've kind of come in and you've been like, whoa. Yes. Well, Christian, you, you said it best. Um, when I work with dentists, they're, they're some of the most intelligent people in mm -hmm. the entire world, right? But I would say you want to seek trusted advisors like myself, like yourself, like a CPA, and have someone that's engaged and understands your business and surround yourself with them and rely on them for their expertise because you don't have the time to do everything. Mm -hmm. So I would say, yes, we often like to work with our office managers and have them handle everything, but their time is limited as well. So surround yourself with those trusted advisors and really truly rely on them. That is what we're here to do. I would also say um, you, again, the, the thing that they struggle with the most is their time. So you, mm -hmm. you want someone who's available and who can be uh, available on the weekend or, or after hours. So make sure that you're, you're finding that person that you truly trust and that you can work with. And then the other, the other thing that I'll mention that comes to mind is keep your full financial future in mind. So it's not just looking at um, my goal is to remodel, mm -hmm. right? But also think about um, what other solutions are we using and have we reviewed them? So you heard me talk about a, a couple of specialized products that we have specifically just for dentists. And one of them is um, our ADA credit card. And so with that, you can actually add a revenue stream by earning up to 5% back for just making your supplies, making your your day-to-day your -day purchases. I had a dentist, they were putting about $50,000 monthly on a credit card. And so once I was like, well, let's just be conservative here. If you were to get 2% back, you're missing out on $1,000 a monthly. Mm -hmm. Christian, that's a nice car payment or it's a really good employee retention strategy. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things that I, I would say, um, just do it. The Dental Breakdown Show, sponsored by White & Associates Practice Consulting. Better business, better dentistry. They are a practice management and consulting firm for dentists and other healthcare related businesses. Their sole purpose is to implement proven strategies through online and practice visits that result in the personal and professional success of the dentist and his or her team. 
I'm Teresa Laje, business consultant with U.S. Bank. I have 17 years of working with dentists and impacting their bottom line by gaining an understanding of the business needs, recommending solutions, and coming up with a treatment plan that best suits their practice needs. Producing solutions to reduce cost, reduce stress, increase cash flow, and help the dentist achieve greater personal success. Give me a call today. Well, Teresa, you had mentioned um, in your tenure at US Bank that you've done about 1.5 billion um, in loans and through by uh, working with dentists. You know, if I was to ask you, you know, what are your tips for success? You know, what could you share with all of our listeners? Yeah, well, great memory, by the way. Um, I would say number one for me, it is just being that resource and sharing my knowledge, providing guidance and being available, like taking those calls after hours. That, that uh, to me is just, I, I would tell you, dentists always tell me, Teresa, the reason I'm wor working with US Bank is because you're always available. And I do, I make myself available. Secondly, I would say it's just, I not only give advice, but I take my advice. So it's surrounding myself with those partners that I know are going to be beneficial to the dentist. So when they ask me, do you have someone that can help me with this? I have great partners like you, Christian, you're a prime example where you work with dentists to really help them maximize their profits. And I can say, yes, I'll make an introduction to Christian. And I really enjoy doing that. And the third thing I would say, along with our tailored options that we provide and truly our niche product, it, it's just my strong customer service. You've heard me talk about much of my businesses that repeat customers. And when they call me and they're like, can you help my son or my daughter open a practice? That is the best compliment that I can get. And that is what makes me successful and why dentists work with me. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Teresa, I would say that, you know, you're not in the loan business, you're not in the finance business, you are yeah. in the experience business. And I think people, the dentists have a great experience with you. And that means that's, you know, that means everything in the yes. world to them. Absolutely. And that's how I look at it as well, Christian. So I'm, I'm glad you touched on that mm -hmm. is it is the relationship that I have with the business owner. It, it truly is about the relationship and understanding, you know, what does your personal life look like? Because we want to really know what does that success look like? So that mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you not only are running a better practice, but you have more time to do, you know, things that you enjoy with your personal life. Okay. Makes, that makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're getting down to the last question. All right. Okay. Um, so Teresa, um, you know, is there anything about yourself that you would like to share and about yourself that would you know, help our listeners maybe to uh, resonate a little bit more with you or, or connect with you maybe on a, a little bit more of a personal level? Well, we were just talking about personal life. Yeah. So I will share, um, not many people know this, but I was valedictorian and I graduated <laughs> a year early at 17. This is the true story from oh. Roseville High School okay. here in Minnesota. So I like to say that I have brains and <laughs> um, that the brains come from the mom. So I, I think I passed it down to my two children. Nice. Christian, my 12 year old son is a, a honor roll and nice. he's actually taking classes uh, a grade level above his grade. And then my 10 year old daughter is super sassy and she is the uh, president of her school. But my husband would probably disagree and say the brains came from him. Nice. Talking about uh, family, I'll also just share that I, I think this is funny, but it's true. I think of myself like a flower because I love to be outside soaking in the sun. So I look forward to our annual vacations. Um, all inclusive at mm -hmm. the beach where I don't have to do any cooking or cleaning. You just wake up and you go. So that's nice. that's a little bit about what I enjoy doing. Nice. I, I like the flower analogy. I would agree with that. Um, I, I can feel <laughs> the sunshine coming, you know, coming through my monitor. Actually, it's pretty cool. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Teresa, it has been a blast having you on the Dental Breakdown Show as a guest today. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. 
You are most welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it, Christian. So if our listeners, if they would like to do business with you, or if they just want to have a conversation with you to talk about their situation, you know, where, where can they go to get more information or how do they get a hold of you? Great question. I would say call me. Call mm-hmm. my cell phone. You can call my work cell phone or text me if that works best for you. My work cell is 612 612- three six four zero three five one or email me at teresa dot alahe at usbank.com thank you for listening to the dental breakdown show with christian white if you would like more information about today's topic have a topic suggestion or would like to be a guest please check out the description below or for more videos podcasts and information please visit whitedentalconsulting.com forward slash podcasts If you liked the podcast today, please press that like button, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon to become a part of the growing Dental Breakdown Show community.